Hi, welcome. This is Joe Kelly. Today we're going to be talking about how your conditioning is limiting your experience when you're acting and also your success, so your career. So um, maybe you have felt when you're acting, um, when you're auditioning, especially if you're having a big audition, you felt that you're somehow limited, like you can't feel fully expressed, you can't feel fully in the moment, you can't really root for the character and you're like limited and concerned about your ego or how you come off or your nerves or you're in your head or you're having doubts. And so maybe sometimes you think about your acting career and um, the way that it's fulfilling you or not, the way that it's fun or not, and also the way that you're actually achieving some results, that you're booking the type of roles that you want, that you're getting, you know, the success that you're wanting as an actor. <clears throat> Sorry. And you may be feeling like, gee, it's it's not really working. It's kind of, I feel unable to show up fully. I feel limited. And that's not a fun sensation, right? Like you feel like maybe there's a, a big scene with big emotions are needed and you're feeling limited in your capacity to fully open and fully explore or explode or be completely free and be completely surprising to yourself, be completely instinctive. You feel like there's, there's limitations inside of you. And <clears throat> You may feel that sometimes even when you are booked and you're feeling, yeah, I'm doing it right, but I'm not like wild. I'm not completely unleashed. I'm not completely free. I'm not really making a masterpiece here. I'm doing the job. I'm doing it right. I'm good. The director likes what I'm doing, but I'm not like changing my world or anyone else's world. And so that can be... <clears throat> like a sticky feeling to have because you chose this art to fulfill yourself because you're passionate about it. You really love acting or at least you're sure that you did love acting when you chose to um, be an actor and now showing up and feeling limited in your capacity and therefore limited in terms of the results that you're producing can be very annoying and frustrating. And so you may have gone down the rabbit hole of you know, doing a lot of classes and trying one teacher after another, trying one method out or after another, a book after another, a therapist after another. And you may have come to analytical conclusions about how limited you are. So you may have um, crossed the path of limiting beliefs and thinking that you have limiting beliefs and that is why you can't just be fully you, fully unleashed in the present, in the moment. And I don't usually work with that word limiting beliefs, but what I would like uh, for us to do is to actually look at where that sensation of feeling limited when you're acting, where that comes from. And where it comes from, the root of every repression, limit, stuckness, pressure, that you're feeling inside of yourself that doesn't feel like just pure ease and flowing out of you is due to your conditioning. So what is your conditioning? Uh, your conditioning is the way that you have been raised from early childhood. You depended on your parents and your parents told you what to feel. So for example, when you were crying, your caregivers would hold you in their arms and would probably tell you to shush. They would tell you to not cry. Or when you were afraid, they would tell you, don't be afraid, you're okay. Or when you would be angry, they would maybe even scold you a little bit and say, hey, don't be angry, don't yell at me. So right from the beginning, with your caregivers, even if they meant well and they loved you, you were told, you were asked, to limit your feelings. You were told to limit your experience. You were asked and maybe even threatened a little bit into behaving like your caregivers wanted you to behave. So don't feel the sadness, don't feel the anger, don't feel the fear, don't feel the protest, the tantrum. All of that is not good and if you're feeling it, the parents are probably gonna withdraw their love a little bit. They're probably gonna give you some sort of punishment. No dessert for you tonight, or go hang out in your room, or 
I'm withdrawing my attention from you a little bit because you upset me with your feelings. And so as a little person whose survival depends on your parents, you may have felt, oh, yeah, when I'm just feeling freely what comes out of me, it feels bad because mommy and daddy just don't feel so present anymore. They don't feel so safe. They don't feel so loving anymore. So I'm not going to do that because it feels bad. So I'm going to limit what my experience is, repress what my feelings are, and I'm going to modify, adapt, and actually please them so I get that love and that safety back. And that's where people pleasing comes from. So it's a little deeper than limiting beliefs, if you know what I mean. It's not a belief that you have. It's a conditioning, a formatting, an education that you have been forced to accept. You've been forced to drink the Kool-Aid. You've been forced to modify and adapt your emotions to your environment, your parents. Later down the line, you went to school and there you were forced to adapt your thinking, your behavior, your attitude, your speech, your body movements to what the teacher wanted, to what the school wanted, to what the other kids wanted. And if you didn't adapt, if you didn't sit, be quiet, don't move, don't, don't, what's the word, don't fidget, um, don't talk in the middle of the classroom, don't go to the bathroom in the middle of the classroom, don't get angry in the middle of the in the middle of the, of the classroom, you were then not validated. You were probably excluded. You were probably shamed by the teacher publicly in front of your classmates. You were probably put in a corner. You were probably humiliated in some shape or form at a little degree, but you're a little person. And so you, you take that as truth and you start modifying your thinking, your desires, your needs, your behavior, and also your emotions, which you've learned to do right from the beginning, right? So all of that is your conditioning. You come into this world, you're completely free. And then little by little, your parents, your teachers, and the rest of the world, the society, the culture tells you, you need to feel a certain way. You need to think a certain way. You need to behave a certain way. You need to learn a certain way and a certain type of things. Basically, you can't do you. We tell you what to do, but you don't, you, you don't do you. So you have to limit everything that is you in order to adapt to your environment. That's your conditioning, programming, formatting. So, of course, when you become an actor and you're auditioning for something that's important for you and there's a perceived authority that's going to decide on whether you get the job or not, what happens? Well, what you've done your entire life. You're going to limit your expression. You're going to limit the emotions. You're going to contract everything that's there because that is how you've learned to survive and cope in your childhood, in your early childhood, and in your adolescence. In, in, in all your upbringing, the safest, most valuable, most, most efficient way to get love was to repress and limit everything that you are in speech, in emotion, in behavior. So what do you do? Well, you do, the only thing that your body knows to do is you limit everything that comes out of you and you adapt it to what you think the casting director may want. What you think the casting director may want. So, um, so that's why you're feeling limited. It's not because you have limiting beliefs, it's because you have been raised and you have been requested to repress everything that's you, your feelings, your thoughts, your behavior, everything. And therefore, when you show up, it feels that you're being, feeling limited. You are feeling pressure. You're feeling blocks. You're feeling doubts. You're feeling stickiness inside of you. And it's not fulfilling. And it won't lead you to book the roles that you want, obviously, right? So... Um, the conclusion is when you're feeling, <clears throat> when you're feeling limited, when you're auditioning or acting, what there is to do is to undo the conditioning that raised you, 
Undo all your people-pleasing mechanisms, the trying to be liked, the trying to be good, the trying to look good, to work through that conditioning, through that education, so that you can show up unlimited, fully free, fully you, and that's the only way you will feel fulfilled. With ease, you'll just be you without repressing any of it, right? And when you do that, guess what happens? The casting director sees you. They can feel you. They can experience you because you're being 100% you. So that's the work we do in our community. And if you can relate to that, if you have any questions about that, you can send us a DM and say, stop, act, and we'll send you some more information about it. Uh, I hope that this was useful to you. I hope that you're understanding this limited feeling in your experience and in your um, results in a different way. You're not guilty of it. It's not your fault. It's the result of conditioning and you can definitely move through it. You can undo it and then wake up your truth, your instinct, your freedom and your purpose. Uh, I hope this makes sense. Send us your questions. We'll be happy to answer them. All right. Bye.